All right, so we are talking about day and night and the seasons of the year um, is our intro to our earth cycle. So um, this is the note-taking part of the season. So we don't actually have four seasons around here. So we get a little confused because we don't necessarily have um, let's say a summer, fall, a complete fall, and a complete winter. We've got those really whacked out winter days and whatnot. It's not like we have, um, like in you know elementary school, you have bulletin boards and the teachers have snowflakes and stuff. Snowflakes don't happen very often around here, and when it does, it's usually icy more than it actually is snow. But we do get some snow days, but not very often, right? So these are our notes for how to remember the seasons of the year. So first off, all of our rotation and our revolution goes counterclockwise. So you can see that the arrows are going around. So that's us on our axis. So that axis, um, that is our North Pole and that is our South Pole. And let's just say that there's a line all the way through and we call that our axis. And that is a 23 and a half degree tilt. And that tilt is always pointed, the North Star, um, the North Pole is always towards the North Star, or um, its real name is Polaris. And so uh, that North Star is, uh, that North Pole is always pointed. So you'll see that our North Poles are always pointed towards that North Star. So now what you have to also know is, is that just like we talked about with weather and climate, we have to know where the equator is. So it's really important for you to know where your equator is on each one of these beautiful um globes that we have here. So um, that way we can see where the direct sunlight is. So I'm going to make sure I see my axis on this one and my equator all the way around. And then there's my axis and then my equator here. And then my axis and then my equator is here. Okay. So because of that tilt is the reason why we have seasons. It's the whole reason why I have to teach you A, B, C, and D is because of these tilt of the earth. Because we get um, different rays of the sunlight in different um, seasons by where it is located around our beautiful sun because we revolve around our star, the sun. So, um, so when you look, this one looks like the sun's bake in the South Pole. Well, that's not a true statement. So this is a 2D, not a 3D image, so it's kind of hard. So I'm going to show you a little trick. You always start with the sides because the sun's rays is directly on the southern hemisphere right here. So if the direct sunlight, sunlight is on the southern hemisphere, then that means the southern hemisphere is in summer. That means that we are in winter. So we live in the northern hemisphere. And so South America and all those people down here in Australia are having summer when we have our winter. So this is in January. January 21st, uh, December 21st, sorry, December 21st is the first day of our winter solstice. So, and then summer has their beautiful summer. Now, as we truck along from winter, we go into um, spring. So, we go from winter break to spring break. If the northern hemisphere is in spring, then the southern hemisphere is in fall because we're opposites of each other, okay? And then three months later, we are going to have our, uh, so spring goes into, we can't wait for summer break. And so they are in fall. And so you can check it because it's, di it's across from it. So the direct rays of the sun is actually on the Northern hemisphere. So the Northern hemisphere is having summer. Oh, I was wrong. Look, look, look. I forgot. So that's winter. So make sure you have that. I'm sorry, winter. Maybe I should edit that. Oh, well, we all make mistakes. Okay, then after summer break, we go three months later and we have fall. So we are going from summer to fall. So that means that they are in spring. So remember that we're always opposites of each other. So just to clarify and make sure, since I made some uh-ohs, so you got to make sure that this little section right here is a three-month section. So it goes from fall to winter winter to spring, spring to summer, summer to fall. So this is actually in three month increments. So this is three months. This is three months to get to summer. And then this is three months. Okay. So that means that from winter to summer, it takes how many months? Three plus three is 
six months. You got me? Okay. Ooh, hopefully I didn't get too crazy with my, okay, with my stuff. Okay, so here we go. So, again, let's, let's, let's review and make sure we're good. So, A, position A, we know that the direct rays of the sun is on the southern hemisphere. So, that means they're in summer and we're in winter, okay? When we get through with winter break, we can't wait for spring break. After our spring break, we count down the days to our summer break. After summer, we go into fall. I think about football because we get through with we get through with our summer and we're all going to football games and stuff. And then after football games, which is fall, then we can't wait for winter break. Winter break, we can't wait for spring break. Spring break, we can't wait for summer. Summer can't wait to, for fall. So it keeps on going. So since we don't really have four real things, that's how I remember our seasons. I remember that we start school in the fall, like football time, and then it's winter winter break, and then we go to spring break, and then we can't wait for summer break. So that's how I remember. So remember, that's for the northern hemisphere. So the southern hemisphere is always opposite, so remember that. So winter for the northern hemisphere is in December 21st, and uh, March March 21st, around our spring break time, March 21st, and then our summer is actually June 21st, and then our fall is September 23rd. So we actually have designated days that from September 23rd to December 21st, that's how long it takes. It's three months in between each one. So we have 12 months um, and a year, right? So we have 12 months and a year. So we have 12 months that makes this beautiful revolution around the sun. That is actually the revolution of that is taking 365 and a quarter days. Remember, we have leap year, so that's where that quarter day comes from. So, that equals one complete year. So, from winter to spring to summer to fall to back to winter, and voila, there's the seasons of the year. All right, see you later.